right guys, how's it going? I tell you what, it's a funny old day. At the moment, we've got full on bright sunshine, but every now and then the fog moves in and you can't see 20 yards in front of you. It's bizarre. <laughs> anyway, I've popped down to the pink house in Newport and I've come here for two reasons. Firstly, I've not done a video here for around eight or nine months. And secondly, at the moment, I'm a bit pushed for time and um, this place it's quite local for me. Well, I say local, it takes me around 30 minutes or so to get here. Now, the last video I made here, I caught those two cracking soul, if you remember. What a session that was. I'm not going to catch any of those today because uh, it's the wrong time of the year, but we might get something else. High water is around 9 o'clock this evening, 11.1 metres, which in old money for Newport is 12.8 because we had 1.7. For me personally, that's the maximum size tide I'd fish this place on. Anything bigger and that rip, it can be quite evil and uh, it's impossible to hold bottom at times. We should be okay later on, but just in case, I have got a couple of seven and also eight ounce grippers in the old seat box. Now this mark I describe as an enigma because that's what it is. It's not the kind of place whereby you're gonna get bites uh, every cast. You're never gonna get nine or 10 fish a session but what does happen, every now and again, it produces a couple of cracking fish. I've had some good cod off here, and also a couple of years ago, I got my PB cod, £8.6, so you never quite know. You could fish it, for example, five times. You could blank on the first four sessions, and then on your fifth go, you might get a couple of crackers. Like I said in my last video, it's an awkward time of the year now on the channel. The fishing does go a bit quiet. Don't get me wrong, there are fish being caught, but uh, generally speaking, yeah, it is hard work. A lot of us are struggling, a lot of us are blanking. Given the mark that I'm fishing, given the time of the year, is it going to be an impossible task? Well, we'll have to wait and see. But one thing's for sure, I'll be giving it a good crack. I need this. I need this. At the moment, life is busy. You know what it's like. Like I always say, if I blank, I blank. If I catch, I catch. It's an absolute pleasure being here today. It's a glorious winter's day. Well, until that fog moves in again. But uh, at the moment, stunning. It's going to be a bit cold later on. Going to drop to around minus two. So uh, there is going to be a frost. But I got the old coat up on the seawall, if needed. Gentle westerly wind. It is meant to pick up later, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. I can just about see the water. It's on the turn, but got hours yet. But uh, you know me, I've always got to get here early to uh, do all of my scenery work. I've done half of it, and uh, in a sec I'll go off and I'll do the other half. It's going to be dark later on, so hence why I'm doing it now. And then tomorrow, when I do the edit, I'll pick a nice music track, and hopefully I can make a nice watch. And that'll make up for the lack of fish. Come on, Gap, stop being negative. <laughs> you never know what's out there. No, but uh, a lot of work, a lot of work goes into it, guys, you know. Like today, um probably seven hours in total, filming and fishing. The edit will take me six hours, so you're looking at around 13 hours of work for one video. And um, sometimes, when you don't even get a bite, it can be uh, a bit demoralizing. But uh, that's how it is. You've got to show the good, got to show the bad. And hopefully tonight, it'll be good. So calm, so peaceful. No one about. Although, I did spot a walker earlier on. Nice chap. He's actually one of my subscribers. So uh, that was good. I had a bit of a chinwag. If you're watching, mate, drop me a comment. Right, let's go and get some more scenery shots. Oh!
Here she comes. Won't be long now. Rod's already set up. Gonna be fishing with two. On the one, there's a 4 0 pulley panel. On the other, there's a two hook clip down. Size two O's. Bait wise, I've got ragworm, legworm, and some squid. And also a bit of bluey, just in case there's any winter thornbacks out there. Although, it is a bit early for thornbacks, but you never know. That wind has picked right up. Always the way. As soon as that water starts to come in, the wind strength does increase. Come on. This wind is getting proper bad now. Like I said, it was forecast to get stronger, but not this strong. It can be far off 20 miles per hour now. Oh well, can't do much about it. Anyway, we're fishing. On the 4 0 pulley panel, I've got a whole squid with a lugworm sausage on its back. And on the two hook clip down, top hook is ragworm tipped off a squid, and the bottom hook is straight lugworm. So, we'll see what that does. Early days yet, we're about two hours off high water, so uh, plenty of time. Uh, it's cold now, getting cold. I was going to start off with a 6 ounce gripper on each of those rods, but uh, in the end, changed my mind. I've gone for a 7, so far so good, they haven't moved. Now because the tide is flooding in, I'm casting way to my right, so that if they do move, they'll come around nice and straight. It is Baltic now, Baltic. The problem is, when it's cold, the batteries in the camera, they drain really quickly. So today, I brought with me six batteries, and I reckon I'll get through five of those. And the same with uh, the night light. Any form of battery, I think, struggles in the cold. <laughs> Just want to get a bite now. Always warms me up. That's a blank out of the way guys, got a flounder I think. Yes! Second cast and we got a cracking flounder. I swapped over to a three hook flabber, as I do, I like to alternate my rigs. And uh, bottom hook, straight ragworm, got a beauty. That's over a pound, I know. Oops. I'll tell you what, guys, I'll get him unhooked and I'll show you properly then. He's a bit slippery and um, I want to get this hook out of him. What a cracker.
nice bit of second cast action there over the moon that's popping back straight away do nicely I reckon he was around a pound and a half a proper chunk of a flounder I love flounder one of my favorite species always have been and they're so hardy once again he swam off like a rocket one of the hardiest fish in the sea do you know it's amazing what a fish can do prior to that I was freezing cold the wind was annoying me it's been quite hard to film so far but uh, I feel so much better now. So much better. It's pitch black. There's no one here. It's a bit eerie. But after catching that fish, I don't care. See what else is out there now. I had a couple of rattles on the whole squid. Nothing major, so I'm thinking a small codlin, maybe. Or possibly a small white in. I'm gonna stick with that flattery because, uh, well, why wouldn't you? <laughs> Just check that whole squid, nothing on there. So uh, I put a fresh one on and whacked it back out. So the flattery is in fairly close, and uh, the pulley panel, like I said, I'm giving that a bit of a whack. Try and mix it up, find out where the fish are. <laughs> what do I know? I've set up the cheap little boat rod as well. I'm gonna cast that 10, 15 yards, stick a tug flap rig on it. And uh, that could produce a bit of magic. I found it for me it's made the session if I don't get another bite it won't matter don't get me wrong I'm gonna try and I'll try hard but yeah bang on high water now all quiet on the western front I'm not surprised to be honest now in about 20 minutes time I'm gonna start casting to my left Whereas before, on the flood, I was casting to my right. But in fairness, those seven ounce grippers, they haven't moved all night. They've done a fantastic job. I can't complain. I'll give it, I don't know, an hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half, and that'll be me done. Don't forget now, next Wednesday, 
my 4,000 subscriber giveaway video a nice box of goodies, terminal tackle etc enough stuff to make rigs for the next 3 or 4 years <laughs> No fishing for me this weekend. I got a busy few days coming up, but um, I am off work early part of the next week. So hopefully I'll be out filming somewhere. The tides are dropping from today, getting smaller. So uh, I get the old tide bug out and I'll take a look. Probably head further down the coast, I would have thought. getting uh, hundreds of comments on my videos of late and uh, as you know guys I reply to every single one I got no problem doing that you seem to enjoy the one I did down at St Bride's when I was reminiscing you know talking about the old days yeah you like that one I guess because it's relatable you know it's real life and that's what it's all about and that's what I'm all about I'm just an average angler, I go out, wet the line, enjoy it, talk about life, happy days. Yeah, I think on that video I had over 200 comments, unbelievable really, but uh, I enjoy it, you know, I appreciate the support, can't fault it. It's a bluey on that one. Whilst we're on the subject of flounder, they remind me of the freshwater chub. Freezing cold winter's day, you trot in a stick float down a stream on a brook, nothing else is feeding apart from the good old chub. And uh, it's the same with flounder. This time of year, when the sea fishing is hard work, good old flounder, they're always there. I'm sorry guys if I'm shouting but I'm conscious of this wind and I'm not sure if you can hear me okay. There's no one else fishing. I can see no lights further down in the gold cliff. There's no lights to my left. I'm the only mad fool out. Oh well. Airbin back now. I think I'll have another 20 minutes and uh, it'll be time to hit the M4. I've enjoyed it. It's been a nice little session, in fairness. Bonus flounder, as far as I'm concerned, job done. Favourite mark of mine, or one of my favourite marks, is the pink house. There's something about it, I can I can't explain it. And uh, that's why I keep on coming back. I reckon I've been coming here now for 35, 36 years. I was five or six years of age when I first came here with Dad. With my little eight foot rod. I caught some fish on that, mind. But yeah. It's a special place. Well, for me anyway.
Right guys, I'm all packed up now, ready to make a move. At the start of the video, I asked the question, given the mark, given the time of year, was it going to be an impossible task? Well, when it comes to fishing, nothing's impossible, something is always possible. Usually, when you catch a fish early on, like I did tonight, you think, hello, it's gonna be a cracking session. Not here, not at the Enigma. One or two fish, a mashed lot. It's always been the same, ever since I can remember. But look, I've enjoyed it. All right, it's been a bit cold, it's been a bit windy, it's been a bit tricky to film, but we got through it, and we'll move on to the next one. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. It's mega appreciated. Any questions or comments you have, pop them below and I'll get back to you. Until the next one, look after yourselves. Take care. All the best.